Hello everyone, welcome back. We are at the right side of the map right now because this is the area where I found the red larva. So I'm guessing the hive mother is somewhere around this area. So we are just going to, yeah, see right, right there. So we are just going to make our way through this place and see if we can find the hive mother and to defeat it. Uh, it's technically an optional boss now, so we don't really have to do this, but I just want to see if they've made any changes um, since the release to this boss and see if there's any good loot to pick up. Uh, we can just put this here. Pretty standard for this biome. We'll take the chest though. Crap. Ah, damn it. Didn't know they explode it into a pool of acid. Ah, that's not good. Combine this up. I need to redo my uh freaking hot bar. Uh yeah. I would be more used to this. Oh, Carapace Breastplate. Uh, two set bonus plus 23.8% damage for a short duration after mining a wall. Oh, this is um, part of Gorm's armor set. So I know there's a uh, chest there, and we have like a good pickaxe, so I'm just gonna mine the walls. <laughs> oh, there's no other way into here anyways, aside from like building a path. Okay, got the hand drill, which would come in handy, actually. I'll take the chest. How strong is the hand drill again? It's like a tin pickaxe, right? Yeah. Little guys. Ooh, look at that. I want to say I want to speed past this, but if I do that, I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, we got a health potion. That's. I don't need the fishing rod right here. Although. Is there any fish in here? Yellow kelp. Plus one food. Uh. Okay. <laughs> That is disturbing. Probably don't need these. Don't need this. Don't need the spike traps. So this is where we came from. Let's go down. Oh, 
Holy crap. Oh, they got through. I'll just let my minions take care of these guys. I say that, but <laughs> I keep getting hit by them. Should I be catching all this? Maybe. That way I could have something to feed my uh, dodo birds. I honestly don't need a lot of this stuff. Become food for my dodo birds. Uh, let's use up the healing potion, I suppose. Is I just don't have too many blocks, so I don't want to use them willy nilly. But I guess I sort of have to. Oh, yeah, we can put down torches to uh, distract these guys. Found it. Nice. Now... Let's clear off the arena first. And especially the acid. But I'm thinking this is going to be quite easy with the amount of summons that I have at this point. Uh, I could be wrong though, they could have made this boss a lot more difficult and with a lot more HP. But we'll give it a try. Uh, let's see. I still have some healing potions there. I'll just eat something for some slow regen. I'll resummon everything. And then I might just try some uh, melee hits for a while. It's like half dead already. <laughs> and then we'll move on to ranged. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can kill it before, uh... Ooh. Shit. Kill this thing before the minions become a threat was what I was gonna say, but I killed it already. Okay. Nothing too interesting, I suppose. Immunity acid damage, which we don't really need. The carapace helm forms that set, which gives more damage after mining a wall, but also kind of useless. We got the two larva figurine, which is good. I kind of want to save this fish, just so I can cook it back at home. Uh, I don't need the larva ring. Don't need the apprentice robe either. 
take that, we'll take that. Don't need the chieftain set either. That might have been a mistake. I think that I was missing the armor for one full set, but it doesn't really matter. And let's see, let's get rid of this seed. And we'll take that. Okay, part of the reason why I want to defeat this guy is I'm hoping there would be like a summoning or not a teleportation circle somewhere. So let's just dig away past. Oh. Alright, we need to take the chest, damn it. <laughs> Uh, let's get rid of normal ground slime. Guess we'll just keep mining our way out. <laughs> Want to find a teleportation circle, but I'm not too sure if there is one. Uh, what blocks do we have? I guess we'll use this larva high block. Don't really want that stuff around my base anyways. <laughs> well, it still keeps going. Take the potion and the food. Anything out here? Huh. No teleporter. Let's just summon something to defend us. right into him. <laughs> Teleporter, where are you? Guess not. Uh, we can go down and see if there's anything down there, I suppose. Or up. thing. I would imagine if there is a teleporter, it would be quite close to the summoning circle, so there might just not be a teleporter for this guy. Get rid of a clay moss, don't want that. Oh, we're quite hungry right now actually. Uh, let's finish up our food. That should clear up an inventory slot. There's one more up there.
I mean, technically... Even though I'm, like, trying to destroy them before they hatch, if I let them hatch, it might be a good way to level up my, uh, summons. Oh, this just leads back here. Yep, nothing here. Because I'm not too sure how we level the summoning skill. I think we basically just have to get our summons to hit stuff. And the larvae are weak enough so that we can kind of tank them around and let the summons deal with it. Oh, they're trying. <laughs> okay, let's look at the map. This is the summoning place. So instead we'll go back to the boss room and then we'll go down to see if there's a teleportation circle there. I'll place a skull there. Okay, so nothing down here. I guess we can mine southward, see if there's anything there. I mean, we got out. <laughs> we'll dig a straight path towards this chest. No point in not doing so when we have the capability, especially since even an iron pickaxe can do this. Ooh, we got the golden one. Uh, let's take that lantern we don't need. Even scrapping it won't give us anything good anyway, so... Same with the larva ring, we have enough of those. Kelp I kinda wanna keep just to feed the turtle, see what that gives. I guess for now we can just... Turn all our wood into torches. And not care about that. I just want the golden one. <laughs> oh, there's a guy in here. <laughs> I think what we're going to do is... Just gonna take this hoe, put it in a number four. Summon some new minions. We're gonna have to eat some food, so let's eat some larva meat. Ew. Oh wait, we have a uh, caveling bread too. Or caveling bread, yeah. And then if we get hungry again, we can just get rid of that to get clear off the inventory. But we are just going to grab our hoe and just kind of speed run this. <laughs> Holy crap, bit off more than I could chew there. <laughs> and then we'll get some health potions back anyways, so we can use that to heal. I 
don't want the chest. Bomb, uh, I mean... We have enough of these regular seeds at home. I don't really use the bomb too much, so it doesn't really matter, I suppose, but... Might as well collect it, I think. Okay, so we've been to this area already. Running. Oh, mistakes made. Okay, where else? Uh, are those like mine trucks? Let's check it out. Ah, found it. Nice. That's kind of out of the way, actually. <laughs> Don't know how I feel about that. Okay. We are going to use the larva walls. Ah, oh, whatever. And then we are going to block this shit off. <laughs> oh! The armor can just spawn like that? What's floating around here? Oh, just pet stuff. Uh. Yeah, let's finish blocking this off. We can come back and pick up the stuff if needed. Okay, so that's another... I might as well just block this part off as well. <laughs> I can reopen it if I need it. <laughs> okay, so that is another teleporter. We're gonna go back home. I'm gonna heal up and put our stuff away and then we will continue on. Okay, and then next we are back at the Gorm Summoning Circle for two reasons. One, there is the locked room here that I know how, how to open now. And two, I want to find. I want to see if there's a summoning uh, or a teleportation circle around here too. So we have the hand drill. So we're just gonna start destroying stuff. Basically, might just go down. And into this side here. So we're supposed to play some music notes here. And we have the ocarina to do so. I can't read music, so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Q. So W. W, Y, U. Let me write this down, actually. <laughs> Trying to find out what that note there is. I thought that was E. Let's try that. W, Y, T, Y, E, Y, E, W. Nice. That took longer than it should have, but I might have cut some of that out. That works, I suppose. Uh, let's get our hoe out. 
mine out this trap. That was it. This chest. <laughs> Ooh, golden cocoon. Oh, it's just a valuable. Huh. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be more rooms like this. But... At this point, it doesn't seem too worth it. Um, we're just gonna use our hand drill to dig around a little bit more. Maybe until, like, it runs out of durability or something. <laughs> try this side. Let's try digging down. Upward, maybe? Maybe it's up here somewhere. Just like excavating this entire place, trying to find that um, teleportation circle. Crown summoning idol. Oh. Can. Random slimes drop that? Or did I just drop that by accident somehow? Oh. Get some copper. We are actually we actually do need a bunch of copper and tin as well. I'll keep the uh, recording rolling, but then I guess I will just maybe jump to when I find... When or if I find the uh, teleportation circle. Okay, so this is the state of the map right now. This is the Gorm summoning circle. And I did some strip mining to the east, I did some strip mining back here. I even went all the way up here and explored this area as well. And all the way down here. No teleportation circle whatsoever. I can't find it, so I think we're going to go back home now. Okay, so I was going to end the video there, but then when I came back to uh, buy some stuff from this guy, I realized the slime summoning thing that this guy sells is called the Giant Slime Summoning Idol, whereas the one that we found is called the Crown Summoning Idol. It says, a crystal idol that feels out of this world, consumed upon placing it on any Giant Slime Summoning rune. So we may just do that uh, since we, I think we still have a bit of time left in the video before it gets too long. Uh, let's take our minecart there. I'm not fully healed right now, so this might be a big mistake, but we're close enough to our home so that doesn't really matter anyways. Uh, actually, it does, because if this is a more unique boss monster, then that means I'm going to have to farm another one before I can summon it again. So, let's just eat some stuff. Maybe grab some potions as well. I think just... Yeah, we'll grab some greater healing potions. Uh, the stuff that I dropped doesn't really matter because we can just get it back again anyways. But let's do some repairs. Our stuff is pretty worn down. Fiber. I 
And then we can do this just to reinforce everything and get some bonus uh, health and defense and stuff. And I think that's good enough. Now uh, we'll eat the heartberry. Slime pickaxe. I'm not too sure if I want to go melee on it, but I might just drink some milk as well. Uh, we can make these fairly reliably if we need to, so we'll take one of those and we'll take a stone skin potion as well. Just to make sure that we don't really waste this. And then, uh, let's go! Come on. So we're going to go down here. Uh, I'm going to play some spike traps first. I just place it right here. <laughs> and then I guess I'll make a secondary pat jump spot right here. And then if need be, here. Healing coat potion can come back here. So these last for minutes. The guardian potion lasts for a minute as well. We can eat some of this food, which means increased crit chance for 10 minutes. But we'll, I guess we'll summon it now. Right? No. We'll summon our minions first. One more. And then we'll summon this one. Oh, King Slime. Uh oh. Looks strong. Oh no, he summons Blue Slime. Ugh. No. Ugh. Bad idea. Should have cleared the field a little bit. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, he's super fast now. I don't even have time to heal. Oh, nice. Now to take care of all these blue slimes. Okay, okay. I forgot to drink the Guardian's Potion, but it worked out in the end. Ow. Son of a... Damn it. <laughs> so what did we get? Healing Potion. That's fine, I suppose. We'll drink one of those. <laughs> we had too much stuff in our inventory to begin with, so... Let's sort this out. We can get rid of some of these seeds. Ooh. Oozy Royal Egg. I'm guessing that makes a slime pet. Or maybe a king slime pet. Ah, crap. It's too much stuff. <laughs> Okay, we need to drop some stuff. <laughs> so, I'll come up here and I will drop... A 
bunch of stuff here. Because this is close enough to home that we can always just come back here. I just want to pick up everything that this slime guy dropped. King Slime Crown. Uh, two sets. You're a king of slimes. A rare headpiece that crowns you as king of all slimes. You feel very royal wearing it. King Slime Figurine, Royal Gel. So these are the two sets. I'm guessing this is sort of like tier area where if I wear uh, this offhand and this no, this then for one, it brightens everything up. Two, um, I'm guessing that it will Make it so that slimes won't attack us. Just like how it does in Terraria. Oh, we're looking good. Uh, let's test that theory out. Let's find a... Oh, what am I doing? I have a, <laughs> I have a slime farm. Uh, let's go up to one of them then. Yeah, excellent. And then at this point... If I do this... Ah, they don't attack us regardless. Nice. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that works on the boss slimes now, because we do have two more boss slimes that we have to fight. Um, the one in the ocean biome and then the other one in the uh, desert biome, I'm assuming. But uh, this is a fruitful encounter. So I think I'll end the video here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.